Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Look at this big pretty bottle here. Guys, I'll be straight up honest with you on the front. This is a 20 edition of Infinium uh, Samuel Adams. It's a collaboration between Samuel Adams and West Safan. Uh, this is a 2010 edition and on the little tag and this one was bought and put in the fridge downstairs and got shut up to the back and forgot about. Uh, the little tag that they stick on here says I should have had it within about a year which I should have had it by 2011 here we are in 2019 so uh, it's a 10.3 percenter so it should have kept but uh, I don't know why they want you to have it that pressure for some reason I'm not aware of uh, it was an expensive bottle to buy I bought this beer and like I said it got shoved into the back of the refrigerator and then it sat there for years and years and years and years and years and uh, as I was cleaning out the fridge I got it out and Right before I brought it out today, I'm looking at the tag and it's going, you should have had it. It says here on the tag, let's get this off of the bottle here. A thousand years of brewing expertise, collaboration between the brewery of Sammy Adams and Bavarian State Brewery West of uh, It says here, an Infinium groundbreaking beer that unites European brewing heritage with our American innovation. Our brewers worked for two years with the world's oldest brewery, Germany's West Upon, to create a unique beer style. They explored innovative brewing techniques, but always remained true to the Rindebot, Rhein, a revered 15-16 German beer purity law, only using the four class ingredients, small hops, water, and yeast. Infinium is a crisp, champagne-like beer with fine bubbles and fruity spice from it. It's light. Malt character is balanced by the noble hops that impart a soft citrus and floral flavor. We recommend serving the beer at a temperature of 40 to 42 degrees, which what this beer is, and enjoying it before July of 2011. <laughs> Busted. So, it's well beyond July of 2011. We're coming up on July of 2019, so, uh, my bad. Definitely my bad. Uh, but being a 10.3 liter, that's why I didn't look at the tag. I just put it in the fridge and stuffed it, and then it got pushed to the back. And that's where it lived for years and years and years. So we shall see what it brings to the table, see if it still lives up uh, to what I'm hoping it's going to be, especially with Sam Adams and, and West Upon. West Upon has been brewing beers for a long, 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 long time. A lot longer than anybody in the United States, that's for sure. They, they've been brewing beers before there was a United States or even the first colonies in America. So, with that being said, uh, uh, let me jump over to Untap, see if there's any additional information. They do have the 2010 listed. Uh, and this guy posted a comment on March the 30th of 2019 of a 2010. Uh, there's still some people that are drinking this beer. Uh, it says cool bottle will probably pass this time is what this guy says. Yeah, poor corking oxidized vinegar. Ooh. So I'm hoping the corking has not done that. If it is, it is what it is, guys. Uh, uh, it's a retired beer for sure. Uh, they may have done it again in 2011. I'm not sure. I think I've seen two different years listed. So it is what it is. Uh, we don't have an IBU on it, so I'm hoping it's still going to be tasty and not be a glass of vinegar. So uh, if it is, it's going to be a very short video because I'm not going to drink a glass of vinegar. But I remember it's been an expensive bottle to buy. So, with 
the foil is off and it all came off in one piece here. And it is definitely cork and cage and this is a big 750 milliliter bottle. I'm hoping the cork has done its job. But it has not been laying down to keep the cork wet. So let's see if I can get that cork out. It's moving, so we shall see. Here we go. Let's hope it don't spew all over the place. Big time pop. Super big. A piece of the cork stuck to the bottle. Well, it looks like it's staying in the bottle anyway. Yeah, I don't smell any vinegar. That's a good sign. So let's see what we got. And this is probably going to be very carbonated with that massive pop we got from the ribbon cork. So I'm going to pour it very gently here. Hopefully we can get it in there without having 10 fingers of head. Looks like we might succeed. We're going to stand it up on the back end just to get a little head generated there. And there we go. A nice fancy bottle here. I mean, I would, didn't look at the tag. Uh, I would expect this to have lasted quite a lot longer than just a year in the bottle. Finger of head. Nice rich amber color. A lot of bubbles trimming up from the bottom of the glass there. Good looking beer. Let's get it to the nose. I got a nice maltiness to it. A little bit of Belgian yeast going on. A little bit of fruitiness going on in there too. It smells decent. Not getting a big vinegar note, but I am getting a little bit of something like that. Well, let's see what we got. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Very bitter. I wouldn't call it vinegar, but I have some vinegar-esque notes in it. It's an okay beer. It's nothing exceptional at this stage. And like I said, I probably should have done it a long time ago. My bad. My fault. Uh, but being a 10.3 percenter and being coming from Samuel Adams and West of Honor, I just looked at it and didn't look at the tag and, and stuffed it in the fridge and it was forgot about. I mean, it, it was absolutely forgot. It got pushed to the back of that fridge and other beers come into the front of it. And it got into the fridge downstairs, which is the salary fridge. And I don't even look at that, in, in that fridge very, I didn't look at that fridge very often for a long time. It is definitely drinkable. And the alcohol seems to be very well hidden for 10.3%. It's not a bad beer. It's definitely not a drain pour. But probably a little past its prime. Uh, it's still going to be very enjoyable. Well, we're going to drink it for sure. Because I'm, I'm remember recalling this was a very expensive bottle to buy in the 20 plus range. But having it for that long, and I probably bought it in 2010. So I've had this beer almost 10 years, at least nine. Uh, so uh, still very tasty. So let's uh, let's let this warm up a little bit. Sip on it and pour her a glass, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on a little while. Hey. Decent beer, but nothing outstanding or <coughs> world class or anything like that. And looking at the reviews on this beer, and maybe it's some reason why they didn't produce it. Uh, maybe once or twice. Uh, looks like I've got the hiccups. Uh, it's an okay beer. It's not worth what I paid paid for it, but decent beer. And and that may be part of my fault since I sell it too, too long. Uh, but looking at the reviews, uh, everybody's posted. I'm glad the cork uh, kept its integrity and uh, didn't turn into a bottle of vinegar. That's basically where I'm going with that. So I got hiccups. Um, excuse me, guys. Nice and citrusy, a little bit of the Belgian yeast quality. 
quality is up, but nothing outstanding. Final show. Not something that I would buy again if they did reproduce it. It's too expensive for what you're getting. A lot of other beers out there, there's a bigger, bolder Belgian yeast quality. A little disappointing uh, knowing Sam Adams produces some really tasty beers and Westapon produces some outstanding beers. And this doesn't live up to either one of those guys' reputation as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, I sold it way too long. It, uh, it probably should have been drank a long, long time ago, and I did not. And like I said, part of that's my fault. But looking at the reviews uh, that I'm seeing on Beer Advocate and uh, Untapped, uh, there was not a lot of people that were super impressed with this beer to begin with. So another reason why they probably didn't produce it more than a year or two before they said, man, this is not working. So with that being said, guys, to me, uh, it's a big beer. It's nothing outstanding. It's nothing to run out. And if you got one in your cellar from a 2010, I think they did it in 2011 also, uh, you may want to drink it. Uh, it's it's not worth cellaring any, any further than this. And like they said, uh, uh, they will want you to drink within a year uh, of the time it was put in the bottle. And so I don't know if it had been any better then than it is now, but it's a B beer to me. Nothing outstanding. So to me, that's where I'm going to give it. Uh, it's a B beer. Uh, it's a six in the scale. So, over to Bear Advocate, they have it at 3.24. That's in their B minus range. I'm giving it a little bit of benefit of the doubt since I overselled it, and it does have the date on it. Uh, and over to Bear Advocate, uh, they say it's 3.61, which is in their B category, and I would agree with that. It's, to me, it's a B beer. Nothing exceptional, nothing outstanding, nothing more class. Decent beer, not worth what you would have to pay for it. If you do have one, like I said, you probably ought to drink it. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, it is what it is. If you've had the 2010 edition of the Infinium, uh, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.